If you like making money like I do, you're probably going to want to stick around because today we're talking about base. We're talking about this brand new blockchain built on top of Ethereum using the OP stack. Yes, that's all technical jargon. But how is this going to make us money? Well, let's dive into it. First and foremost, we need to understand who is behind BASE, and that is the Coinbase team. If you haven't ever heard of Coinbase, well, it is a centralized exchange, and if you're wondering just how many people actually use this exchange, well, we can take a look at this article, and in 2021, Coinbase had 8.8 .8 million active users. Now, if we fast forward to 2023, which is today, there are over 89 million users on Coinbase. Now, what this means is that these 89 million users who are on Coinbase using the exchange Coinbase, they now have a way to go and interact with Ethereum, with DeFi apps via their own blockchain, which is BASE. So this is pretty massive in my opinion because it allows people who would have never actually participated in DeFi, participated on Ethereum, they now have an easy way, literally the same team that they built this exchange that they're on is now building their own blockchain. So that is where new money is going to be coming in. Now to give you a bit more information on base, well, it being a Ethereum layer two, as I mentioned, it is not going to charge you these massive Ethereum fees. You're only essentially going to be paying pennies on your transactions. And of course it is said right here that you are gonna be paying small fees. Now it is open source and it is powered by Optimism, another layer two, and they are essentially using the OP stack, which is the architecture that base is using. So if you're bullish on Optimism, if you're bullish on base, well, the two kind of go hand in hand together. Now, obviously it is scaled by Coinbase as we just looked at. 89 million people are using Coinbase. So 89 million, let's say 10% of those people, we're still talking about 8.9 million people maybe going into DeFi and into these other projects that they may have not seen before had Coinbase not done a blockchain. Now, one of the best sites I like to use to find new projects on base and keep in mind, base is very new. It's only been out for a couple weeks now and there's a lot of money pouring into the ecosystem, but do be aware of scams. Do be aware of sketchy projects. There are people out there who just want your money. So be aware of that. Make sure you do your very careful research before going into something and never invest money that you can't afford to lose. But taking a look at DeFi Llama here, we can take a look at the top projects. So right now we're looking at about $105 million of TVL. I think it may be actually a bit more than that. But if we take a look at the fees that Coinbase or the base blockchain is generating we can see that they are generating a lot of money on a daily basis and over the last few days it is around two hundred thousand dollars in fees now this doesn't all go back to the base layer team obviously it goes to some of these protocols that are on the base blockchain but all that to say is that there's money flowing into this ecosystem now, what you can do with DeFi Llama is you can actually take a look at the top projects on the chain. So first and foremost, we have BaseSwap, which is a decentralized exchange on Base. We have Swapped Base, obviously SushiSwap. We have Stargate for your bridges, Beefy Finance. Overall, we have so many different projects. We also have Synth Swap here, and it just goes on and on and on. And again, these projects, some are a lot newer, some have been around for two weeks, but we don't have these big names just yet. I mean, we do have Uniswap in there that is doing its part on the base ecosystem, but right now the top decks is still base swap. So again, just understand that we are still in the very early stages and that anything can probably happen in this ecosystem. 
Now, before we go further, the way to actually send money to your base account is very similar to any other networks you add onto your MetaMask. So you're gonna go onto your MetaMask, you're gonna add a network, then you're gonna type in this stuff in the table here. So base mainnet, the RPC endpoint, the chain ID, the currency is Ethereum, and the block chain explorer is base scan. So once you've done that, then you're gonna be able to send money to your account and the way to do this it's a lot easier now because there actually are i believe four or five different bridges i've personally used orbiter so what you want to do is you're going to be able to connect your wallet then let's say you have funds on ethereum mainnet that you want to switch over to base you can go ahead and do that but I would probably recommend doing it from another layer too. So if you have funds on Arbitrum, well, you can go to Arbitrum to base. You're gonna pay less fees than if you go to Ethereum to base. But nonetheless, that's one of the bridge you can use, Orbiter Finance. You also have Stargate. So again, you can go from any of these different blockchains. Let's say you wanna go from BNB to base. Well, you're gonna be able to do that probably pay less fees this way as well. And you also have Synapse, which is again, another bridge that you can use. Go from whichever chain to base. Let's say we wanna go from a Avalanche chain and you wanna bridge that over to a base. Well, again, you're gonna be able to do that with this bridge. So again, we do have multiple bridges out there available to you where you can actually send your money to your base account. Now, going back to the top projects on base currently, well, we have base swap, which right now has a DVL of about $50 million. And if we go on to their website, this is what we are greeted with. So of course it is a DEX. You are able to swap token to token. They do also have liquidity and farms. So you are able to create a liquidity pool and then farm your tokens for their B swap token. So that's the native token of base swap and that is essentially what base swap is i mean they also are working on nfts you are able to trade nfts here as well so base swap in my opinion i mean it is definitely getting a lot of traction whether or not it's going to be able to compete with uniswap or other dexes on base i do believe it's only a matter of time but if we take a look at b swap Right now we are sitting right around $9.50 with a market cap of roughly $5 million. So again, you tell me if you think this is going up or down. I do believe we are still very early in the base ecosystem. Again, this launched on August 1st. It's only been out for less than two weeks. So everything is essentially possible. But what I wanna bring your attention to and the key catalyst to all of this is what happens to these specific projects that are on base. What happens if Coinbase, the actual exchange, starts listing any of these tokens on their centralized exchange? So that could be absolutely massive. And imagine, I'm just saying imagine, I'm not saying this is happening, but I'm just saying, what if base swap becomes the number one dex of base and coinbase says you know what we're gonna list the base swap token on coinbase so that could be absolutely massive and to give you an idea of this i mean we had pancake swap on the bnb network obviously binance listed pancake swap on their exchange it went to the absolute moon. I mean, at one point in time back in 2021, PancakeSwap was around $40. So again, back before this all happened, it was at 30 cents, went to $40. That is some crazy multiples if you ask me. And something else to think about if you are interacting with the base blockchain, well, as we know, there is a chance of potentially having an airdrop, a base airdrop. Again, this is all speculation. I'm not sure if base is going to have an airdrop. If they were, it would probably be the base token for governance on the base blockchain. Again, this is just me speculating, similar to what Arbitrum has done, but this is just all to say that base is definitely interesting. It's very early in the stages. 
and you could probably find some projects and make some good money on it. Now, something else I do like to use for finding new projects, and if you are in the DGEN space, well, if you go onto Deck Screener, you click base here, you're gonna be able to swap from different decentralized exchanges here, but if you go to all DEXs, you are gonna be able to see exactly who has what in terms of their volume, in terms of transactions, in terms of whatever you may be looking for. And if you want to particularly look at one DEX, if we go back to base swap, for example, if we go to the volume, sort by volume, again, be very, very careful with these sketchy projects. And oftentimes when a new project launches, there's actually a scam copy of it. So make sure you're getting the right contract address from that website in question and make sure you're understanding what's happening here. Because I mean, if you're buying something that has a bunch of emojis, that is entirely up to you. So that's another way you can actually find different projects. And I, again, believe that base is still very early. I mean, we saw the hype Arbitrum had back in the early parts of the year. Base just launched, probably gonna continue seeing some more legitimate projects build on top of base. And we're gonna see more and more money flow into this ecosystem. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on base. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. I do have a free discord as well that we talk about different projects all over the crypto space. So if you're interested in that, definitely consider joining. And with that being said, if you did like the video, smash the like button. It really helps out a ton and I do appreciate it. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.